This is the Cervelo S5 of Ireland's Matt Bramier, who rides for Team Dimension Data. And he is one of the few riders on that team who are going to be using this Rota Uno group set throughout 2016. This being very different, of course, not just because it's a new entry into the group set manufacturing market, but also because it is completely hydraulic. Now we've got the Magura brakes here. Magura, of course, being very, very specialized in all things hydraulic. And everything else is supplied by Rota. So the rear mech here, the front mech, and up there at the STI levers for changing. Now, I've just been talking to the mechanic about how you go about indexing the rear and front mech. Uh, this one's got a few different bolts on it. So first of all, there's one that adjusts the left-right position of the mech just for indexing. The other interesting thing about the, both the front and the rear mech on this group set is that there are no stop screws, those being the things that prevent the mech going too far in or too far out either way, maybe going in between your frame and the cogs or even between your spokes and the cogs. But apparently you don't need it because all the adjustability is somewhere up at the front. One day we'll get our hands on some to find out. The brake adjustment is done via these barrel adjusters just up here. And if you want to release the brakes to take the wheel out, you just turn this part right here. Now, and the other finishing kit on the bike, at the front there, he's got an NV 13 centimeter stem and the bars are measuring 43 centimeters, roughly edge to edge. So pretty narrow, uh, center to center, it was just under 40 centimeters. The crank length is 175 millimeters. They are the rotor in power crank set. So that's an axle based power meter and the fairly standard 53 by 39 tooth chain rings. The whole team are running speed play pedals this year and at the top the team's sponsor Physique provides the saddle. He's chosen the Arione for what he wants to do with the carbon rails. Now I've done some measurements on the bike and he's got a reach of around 60 centimetres, pretty high saddle height I have to say of 82 centimetres and the tyres are 25 millimetres written on the sidewall at least, continental competition tubulars. Wheels are provided by team sponsor NV, so at the moment they've got the 60-70s on, 60mm deep at the front and 70mm deep at the rear. Now what does the bike like this way, I hear you ask? Here's your answer. 7.44 kilograms. So not particularly light, not particularly heavy either. Now one more thing of note from my point of view at least is the number of spaces which he's got here at the front end. A good two and a half centimetres of spaces below the stem. We're not normally used to seeing that on pro riders bikes who tend to like to slam things and get as low as they possibly can at the front. Now if you would like a complete playlist of pro bikes we've got one for you which you can find just up there. On the other hand if you would like to look at our video where we looked into the different types of wheels they had to use at Dimension Data back in 2015. You can find that down there. And the subscribe button is just about in the middle there. It's free and it's really worth it. Oh, and I'm going to ask you for a thumbs up as well. There's a little button just down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Go on. You know you want to.